hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make uh, paradise slices or paradise bars uh, and these are uh, a very simple recipe with a, a pastry base and then on top of that is some raspberry jam and then on top of the raspberry jam is a, a cake mixture of a salt similar to frangipan but it's using in my case coconut and ground almonds frangipan just uses ground almonds mixed in with egg whites and such like or eggs and such like um, and this is using coconut as well and in that mixture is going to be some glacé cherries and some sultanas and some orange zest just for a little bit of extra flavour uh, then it's just baked in the oven cut in slices once it's cooled down so I'll go on to the ingredients and uh, for the pastry base I have uh, 84 grams which is six tablespoons of unsalted butter which I've uh, cut into cubes. I have 75 grams half a cup based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of plain flour. I have 37 grams three tablespoons of caster sugar and I have 50 grams which is about half a cup of ground almonds. And then uh, for the, the topping, I have uh, 75 grams, about one cup of desiccated coconut. I have 38 grams, a third of a cup of ground almonds. 56 grams, four tablespoons of softened unsalted butter. I should say this butter, this uh, cold, this butter for the pastry is ice cold and uh, this, uh, the one for the topping is softened. <coughs> then I have uh, 75 grams, 6 tablespoons of caster sugar, 80 grams, which is about 16 glacé cherries, which I've uh, cut in half, 40 grams, about a quarter of a cup of sultanas, 2 grams, half a teaspoon of baking powder, the zest from one orange, you could use a lemon or you could leave that out completely if you wanted to, and two medium eggs which would be large in the USA. I also have some raspberry jam here and I'm just going to use uh, one and a half tablespoons of that probably just to cover the pastry once I've blind baked the pastry. So the first thing to do is to make the pastry. And to make the pastry, I'm going to use the processor bowl of my immersion blender. And I'm going to put in the flour, the sugar and the almonds. And I'm just going to give those a, a quick pulse to get those mixed together. That's all I need to do with those. And then I'm going to add in my butter. And I'm just going to um, toss the butter around a little bit to get it coated in the dry mixture so that the, the cubes don't stick together too much. And then I'm going to start pulsing this and then I will carry on processing it until the mixture comes together into a dough. If after 30 seconds or so it hasn't started to come together I may add a teaspoon or two of water. And so after well, between 30 seconds and a minute, my dough has clumped together. So that's good enough, like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip that into uh, a greased and uh, 
parchment paper lined uh, cake tin, eight inches square. I don't, I could do with a shallower one really. I've, I've got nine inches, but I want eight inches. So uh, this is an eight inch cake tin and I'm just going to tip this into the bottom And then I'm going to uh, basically form it into a dough just to make sure that it is all sticking together. And it is, so that's good. So then I'm actually just going to press it into the bottom of the pan to spread it around so that it covers the entire base. So I have that levelled across the tin and I used my hand to press it down and then I used a piece of excess parchment paper and uh, the back of a spoon just to uh, spread it across until I had it uh, fairly level all the way across. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into the fridge uh, and I'm going to leave it in the fridge to chill for an hour. And uh, then once it's chilled for an hour I would preheat my oven to 160 Celsius, that's 140 Celsius with a fan, 320 Fahrenheit, and I'll come back and we will blind bake this sheet of pastry uh, ready to take the topping. So I've had my pastry dough chilling in the fridge for an hour and I have my oven preheated so I've got a fork and I'm simply going to prick the entire surface of the dough And then I'm going to put some parchment paper on top of that dough. Just like that. And I'm going to pour in my ceramic baking beans. If you don't have baking beans, you can use pasta or rice or dried beans, something like that. And um, then I'm going to put that into the oven. I'm going to bake uh, or blind bake the pastry in the oven for 25 minutes. And uh, after 25 minutes, I will carefully remove the ceramic beans and the parchment paper and I will bake it for a further five to ten minutes until it's completely baked on the top. Then I will take it out of the oven and set it to one side to cool down and I'll come back and we'll uh, make the topping and assemble uh, the paradise slices and bake them off. I baked the pastry in the oven, blind baked it for 25 minutes and I removed the paper very carefully and it tore a little bit so I used the back of a spoon just to uh, spread it down and pricked it again a little bit. Then I put it back in the oven for a further 10 minutes and now it's out of the oven and it's cooling down and it's like a shortbread basically. So now what I'll do is I'll go on to make the filling and to make the filling I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar together first of all. I want to cream those together until they're nice and fluffy and should be quite pale. I should say you can do this by hand and you can do the whole thing by hand but I'm using my hand mixer. So that's nicely mixed together and I'm going to add in the eggs one at a time and mix those in as well.
So I've mixed those eggs in uh, for a couple of minutes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle over the baking powder and uh, the zest and I'm going to mix those in as well before I add the other ingredients. that's good like that so I'm going to put in the almonds and the coconut and the glacé cherries and the sultanas and I'm simply going to mix those and just fold them until everything has come together. Again, I could do this with a hand mixer, but it doesn't need to be done with a hand mixer. And try and separate out the pieces of cherry so that they're not all clumping together. And that's good enough so I'm just going to set that to one side and there's my pastry so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put the jam into the pastry base and I'm going to spread it over and it's how thick the layer is, is is really up to you. I don't need a thick layer on mine. And that's good like that. And I've used I've actually used about two tablespoons. So I ought to mention as well that I have uh, turned the temperature of my oven up so I now have it at 190 Celsius that's 170 Celsius with a fan 375 Fahrenheit so it's ready to bake this once I put the filling in so now I'll put the filling in and spread that to level it off So I'll just push that around and spread it over the base. That's reasonably evenly spread, I think. So I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for between 25 and 30 minutes until um, it's risen up and it feels firm to the touch. I test it with a skewer as well to make sure the skewer comes out clean. Then I take it out of the oven and I'll leave it for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I'll take it out of the tin onto a wire rack to cool completely and then I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the Paradise Slice or bars uh, for uh, about 28 minutes and uh, it rose quite nicely the the, the batter and formed a, a, a nice firm sort of uh, top to the cake and I gave it a test with a skewer but it's not that deep so it didn't make a great deal of difference but it seemed to be baked well so I took it out of the oven I left it for 15 minutes in the tin and then I transferred it to a wire rack to cool and what I've done is I've now uh, cut it into some uh, bars or slices so this is what it looks like and it's baked up quite nicely as you can see so I'll have a taste of this piece mm. 
very, very good. The, that coconut um, texture with the almond is very good. And I get the flavour of the raspberry jam and the flavour of the orange zest um, in combination, as well as the, the fruitiness of the cherry that I bit through as well. So this is actually quite an easy recipe. Um, and the important thing is to make sure the base is baked properly, so 25 minutes before carefully removing the paper and then 10 minutes to firm up the base. Everything else is very, very simple. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. So I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.